want to talk to you about my new series that I'm launching, but uh, first we got to run some errands today. What is it? It's from Alice in Wonderland. It's like a little cafe and it has like teas and everything. Uh huh. So, yeah. What are you getting for the cat? He lost his collar again. Of course he did. Yeah, as always. One is $8 and one is $13. Your call, baby. I'm gonna get him this one. I'm actually getting him a big one. Okay. I feel like I do, but I'll have it on me. Do you know the number? Yep. Can you it with your Hey guys, so the big announcement is I'm going to be launching a new travel documentary series. Uh, I've got friends scattered all across the world doing some incredible research in language communities in the most amazing of places. So I'll be traveling across the world exploring these unique language communities and the challenges that they face for representation and recognition. I know there's a lot of travel shows out there these days, but this one is a little different. Instead of telling you the best place to grab a bite, the coolest hole in the wall, or just going to as many places as I can, I want to talk about language. You see, language can tell us a lot about history. It can tell us about the places it's spoken, the people who speak it, and the ways that they see the world. All of these things are bound up in the way that we speak, the language that we choose to use, and how we came to speak these languages. So that's where you come in. I need your support to make the first episodes of this series a reality. For the next few months, I'll be traveling to Aruba, Peru, and Vietnam to meet with Fulbright scholars, community activists, artists, and friends that are working there to share their stories about the multiple languages that they speak every day. Before this Kickstarter ends, I'll already be traveling to Aruba, a country where a majority of its citizens speak four or more languages, with Dutch, English, Spanish, and Papiamentu being the most common. It's this last one, Papiamentu, that I'll be traveling to learn the most about. It's a Creole language coming mostly from African and Portuguese roots, and it tells a captivating story about the history of the islands, the people who have been there, and a world that's growing more interconnected every day. Then in Peru, I'll be meeting with Quechua speakers, an indigenous language of the Andean mountains. There we'll explore the contradiction of how the language of the Inca Empire has at moments been stigmatized for speaking at home, but privileged abroad, at least superficially when sold along with handmade goods. Finally, 
I'll be meeting members of the Cham community in Vietnam, an ethnic minority group that speaks one of the only remaining Malayo-Polynesian languages in the Indo-Chinese Peninsula. These languages are usually only found in Oceania and the islands of Southeast Asia. The Champa Kingdom, from which the Cham descend, ruled much of the eastern coast of the Indo-Chinese Peninsula for nearly two millennia. We'll look at how this rich history influences the Cham people today and their efforts to preserve a language that has been historically threatened by Vietnamese, French, Portuguese, and today English. Create a lot of really cool rewards for those of you that are generous enough to support this project. Things ranging from a special Instagram account with my daily behind the scenes antics, to digital streams of the episodes, and great photography books from the travels. I'll also be posting vlog videos from not just these trips, but whatever other shenanigans I get into in between. Now I hope you'll follow me along on this journey right as it unfolds. Remember, Kickstarter is all or nothing. I need to reach my goal or I won't get any of your contributions and you won't get any of these awesome rewards. So share this with as many fam family members, friends, and coworkers as you can. You can also follow along on your favorite social media at the links below.